Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm kind of stalling because I don't really know how to start this video. I do not know how to do justice to what we're showing in this video because this is the single most impressive, most expensive, craziest piece of clothing that we have ever, ever looked at on this channel. And I mean, in honor of how big an episode this is, we also have the biggest bag of all time. I probably can't even fit it all in frame. It's a big white bag. The end, hope you enjoyed the video, I'm just kidding. Um, inside this is a crazy piece of fashion. Um, I, I don't even know how to say it, so I mean, let's just take this thing out. Oh, the big unveiling, you guys. And it's in another bag, ha <laughs> ha, trick ya. So this is a bomber jacket from the one, the only, Dior. Yeah, that's right, you guys. This is a Dior bomber jacket. The most luxury of luxury pieces is within this garment bag, and we're gonna check it out. And it is insane. I'm just so hyped, I, I don't even know how to end this intro and start the video. You guys are gonna be excited. Stick around, because this is a wild one. Yo, 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 before we get too much further, subscribe to the channel. I make tons of luxury and streetwear content. And also, if you're looking for deals on luxury and streetwear, check the description. I've got some of the best sites with all authentic stuff. Check it out. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I just can't stop saying, oh my God. I'm just repeating the intro. Guys, this is crazy. I have never had a piece this insane. And if you know anything about Dior, they are like one of the most exclusive brands on the planet. Like you get a little window in there, a little sneak peek. Um, they like don't go on sale. They don't have a lot of stockists. You really pretty much have to go to the Dior website or a Dior store to get their stuff. Like you can't just grab it on Essence or whatever. Um, super exclusive, super rare, crazy resale value as well. Like everything about Dior is kind of in a realm unto its own within luxury menswear. So what do we got here? So it's just a simple black zip up garment bag. Very nice of them to include that here. I wonder if this um, hanger is branded, let's find out. Indeed it is. So it's a plastic hanger with CD for Christian Dior in it. Just a nice touch, you know, having a nice Christian Dior hanger. It's, it's a little kind of memento, you know, I appreciate that. So let's do the full unveiling here. Zippity doo dah, my friends. Zippity doo dah. Oh. There it is, guys. Holy shit. All right, let's get this out. There you go. There it is. And you can see I'm like keeping this on the garment bag because this is like a level above even for me. This is kind of like an investment piece, an archival piece. Like, I got, I'm taking good care of this thing even more so than my other pieces because this is something special. Look at that. Now, I know you want to get into all the details, and so do I. Trust me, so do I. But first, let's take a look at the tags that come with this because fake Dior is everywhere, so you've got to pay close, close attention to these details to make sure that yours is real. So the hang tag here is like a glossy gray, as you can see, kind of like plasticky coated material, fairly thin, it bends easily, and it's nice and long as well. So you can see my hand there. That's quite a bit longer, I'd say, than most brand tags. It has this slit cutout with, you know, it's like a rectangle going a lot of the way down. You get a bit of blank space, and then at the very bottom, in bottom, at the very bottom, embossed in there is CD. Take a look at that lettering, the spacing where it's placed. Again, fakes will sometimes get that kind of stuff wrong. You open it up, nothing inside. How boring, guys. No, I'm kidding. I mean, it is what it is, right? It's nice and simple. It's minimal. I appreciate that. And the back of that is pretty much the same. Still got the cutout. And then you've got this sticker here at the bottom. Now, I'm covering the price because I do not need you guys to know how much of this costs. It's kind of embarrassing, okay? So... Just live with it. You're not going to get the price. Just rest assured, it, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot. But 
the more important stuff is up here. You get a barcode. That bold thing right there is the model number. You can always look that up. And especially with expensive pieces like this, definitely look that up and make sure that your piece is actually what comes up. If something else comes up, that's a bad sign. Off to the right of that, so that's bold. Off to the right, not bold, you get your colorway. This is Ecru Ivoire, so ivory white, right? Then you get um, our model name, so Woven SW Jack. Not sure what that is, but hey, I'll take it. And then also off in the bottom left, we get our size. So this is T46. T is for like taglia, I think that's what it is, So which just means like size. 46 is essentially, it roughly translates to a size small. And we'll definitely talk more about sizing a little bit later. All right, now let's take a look at the brand tag at the back of the neck. But will you look at that? I don't see anything there. And that's because they've really kept this piece super clean. So here what they're doing is they're really letting that brand print shine. So it's fully lined and all over in there you have this embroidered silver Dior logo going like kind of crisscrossing at diagonals. It's super nice. And then for the tags, what they've done, they've kept it much more of like your typical tailoring tags because it's off on the side here when you open it up and that is where you get your brand tag. Oh, it is beautiful, you guys. So it is like a sparkly, glossy embroidered tag. It's like a dark gray silver around it and then a lighter gray silver inside. It's all caps. Make sure any modern Dior stuff, it's always going to be all caps. It's not going to be uppercase D, lowercase Eor. Always all caps. Always, always, always. Take a look at that lettering. It's so, so clean. It has the little kind of extra lines at the top of the eye, top and bottom, around the ends of the D there. All that stuff is super important, like the little curve to the R and how it tapers off. Super exact stuff there. And this is stitched down with silver stitches in all four corners, and those are kind of at a bit of a diagonal, interestingly. And that leads to the next question, which is, where are the care tags? Well, let me show you. So we do have inside pockets here. Oh, it's so nice, you guys. Look at that CD on the little snap button. Oh, it's beautiful. So it's inside this pocket. This would be on your left side if you were wearing the piece. And this is also in silver, like silver gray, plasticky, glossy material. And the first thing you get there in bold is that model number, which matches what was on the sticker. All your model numbers should always match. We get our size, again, 46. That also matches. Then it gets into our fabrication. In this case, 100% uh, polyamide, which is essentially, I believe, nylon. Uh, the lining is pure cupro, which I think is like a rayon. Our embroidery is 100% cotton. And our padding, yes, it is padded, oh, such a sick jacket, is 100% polyester. We get, let's see, five kind of bold uh, washing symbols there. Then some random lettering, not sure what that is. And at the very bottom, made in Italy. So the M and I are capitalized there for made in, and then Italy is all caps, and underneath that centered Italia. You'll also note that at the top right of this one, we've got an embroidered kind of loop tag here for the size. So it is that darker silver, and in black it says 46. And the back of that guy is blank. You'll also note that these care tags are sewn right into that like kind of side seam inside the pocket there so there's really like no visible stitching just really subtle there and we'll talk more about this stitching later on the back of that first tag we get into one of the asian languages a lot of the similar information there and then a bit of space down at the bottom note that each of these lines is fairly spaced out like the stuff it's not nearly as tight as it is on the other tag the next tag it has a little bit of space then continues and this is all centered on the back of that one even more Asian languages going down there, and then a bit of blank space at the bottom, and that's the care tags. Nice and simple, actually, overall. And now, finally, the time has come to check this bad boy out. And where do you even begin? I don't really know. So let's start by looking at the main body, like the fabrication here, if it'll focus. So it is kind of like a glossy woven nylon in this ivory white. It's actually really beautiful. It has a nice kind of like texture to it. It's really light and fine and kind of hard to see on camera, but it is beautiful. The zipper is real metal, silver metal. And if we follow this down to the actual kind of attachments, it's really, really clean metal. And it actually says Dior, again, all caps in there. 
and that font is also super consistent. Even though it's tiny and it's engraved, it's really clean. The tops of these zippers are kind of like hollow and rounded, as you can see. And there's two zippers, they both have that engraving. And the backs of these, totally clean, no engraving at all, no brand names or anything. They've just kept it super clean and minimal. If we follow this down, we actually have a little bit of brand embroidery down by this pocket here. And this, it's actually like a sans serif font. They haven't done the kind of appliques. It's just really clean, D-I-O-R. And look at the spacing there. Each letter is actually quite spaced out. Over on the left sleeve, if you were wearing it, it would be the left sleeve, we get, this is like one of the coolest parts of this whole piece. And this is the like saddle bag pocket. So obviously it's in the shape of the classic Dior saddle bag. And there's another one inside it with these little snaps, like this can boop, snap right off for a flap. It is so sick, you guys. You've got a vertical zipper here, again, with that engraving in it. You can see it's still got like the plastic on it actually. And that opens up, you actually have a good amount of space in there. For the shape, it's kind of weird, but actually a super functional pocket. You do get two side pockets here, and these ones, they do have like a double stitch going here so that it gives them a bit of heft, and those also snap shut. Both the collar and the hem, as well as the cuffs actually, are knit in this kind of like varsity pattern, which is so sick. I love the classic bomber type collar. You can see they're rib knit with these little kind of like varsity track stripes knit into them. Here's the cuff, so just kind of like the same thing, but a bit longer than the collar. And the hem is very similar. But again, you get that classic kind of bomber shape right there, where the elasticated waist comes around here, but then you get the regular kind of main body fabric coming down to the end with the zippers here. I love that cut. It's, one, it's probably my favorite jacket cut. The stitching is incredible. Like, this is done by an atelier. Dior is one of the most famous ateliers in the entire fashion business. So definitely you wouldn't expect anything less from them. So let me see if I can get a good, it's kind of hard because it's such a clean white, but look at that stitching. This is not an easy type of fabric to stitch, but look at how straight those lines are, how straight the stitches are, how close they are to the edges at this pocket. The craftsmanship is just incredible and now of course this had to be the last part of the video here because this is really the standout kind of staple element of this piece it's kind of raison d'etre and that is this whoo baby look at that oh my god you guys oh oh so that is a dior kind of like embroidered patch going all the way across the back big capital letters. And what's really interesting here is it's the same nylon fabrication that they've just stitched on top of itself. And it's really the stitching and the layering of that nylon that gives it the effect and really makes it pop out of the jacket. So if we take a look at that, it's all like zigzag stitched in. So you've got your main body over here, then you've got one layer of nylon that's stitched in in the shape of a D, and then a slightly smaller one on top of it. And each of those is like a zigzag stitched all the way around. Each stitch is totally uniform. The spacing is great. The shape is perfect on every zig and every zag. Oh my God, you guys. This is it. This is like the piece. I don't think I'll ever get a better more interesting, more expensive, I hope I never get a more expensive one, piece of clothing that I will ever own in my life. Might as well just shut down the channel because this is it. We have made it. And again, just last little bit, these kind of seams that are double stitched here. Again, look at that stitching. Beautiful. Every single bit of that is perfect. As is that giant logo on back. Woo, oh my God. All right, let's move on. So now that we've checked all of those details out and oh my God, guys, how sick is that? Really, you, you can be honest. How sick is that? Tell me in the comments below. So now that we've checked all those details out, let's put this bad boy on to see how it feels and see how it fits. Oh, I'm so excited to put this on. Yes, let's do it. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. We're back to the oh my God, because I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's, 
it's the best. Uh, let, let's start by talking about the fit because that's kind of the easy part. Uh, it fits great. Uh, it's a size 46, which roughly translates to a US men's small, and it fits really perfectly true to size. This is, in my opinion, the ideal perfect fit for a size small bomber jacket. Uh, the hem, the waist, it falls just below my pants waistline, which is perfect. The sleeves are a great length. They fall just at the kind of beginning of my hand, so they come down past the wrist, but not, you know, they're not bunching because they're too big or anything. So everything about that is just perfect. So in that case, I would say go with your normal size and it's going to fit great. Now the feel. Whew, where to even begin here? Uh, so the outside, it feels great, just like touching it, that nylon, it's got a little bit of a texture to it. I love that. The inside, that rayon fabrication, super soft, super cool to the touch, not sticky or anything. It comes on and off super, super easily. So I love that because sometimes line pieces can be kind of tough to get on and off depending on the fabrication they use. Uh, it's actually super, super warm because as you saw in the care tags, this is padded. So it does have some filling in there and that gives it a lot, a lot of warmth. It really keeps your warmth in. So this is going to be a great kind of fall winter piece for you. Despite the color, like that clean white though, that pop of the embroidery logo at the back. Ooh. Oh, also we haven't talked about the knit. The knit at the waist and at the cuffs, it grabs you super, super well. It has a good amount of stretch to it. It feels luxurious. My God, you guys. Again, I don't think I'm ever gonna top this piece. So make sure you let me know in the comments what you think because I'm obsessed. Thank you guys for taking this journey with me. Ugh, this piece, you guys, I have nothing more to say. I gotta end this here. So that, my friends, is what a real Dior, Christian Dior jacket by Kim Jones looks like. Oh, I'm in love. Take a look at the other video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, stick around. We look at all sorts of luxury stuff. Super exciting. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.